black or white. $9.99 take his home now. Don't pass this up. You know, my wife and I both have had our 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 taxes taxes hacked oh, man. from the government, IRS. Man. And so now we both have to have a PIN number as associated with our taxes every time we send in our income tax. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's a bit, and that's a pain in the neck to make sure we get that every year. Yeah. Sometimes they remember to send it. Sometimes they don't. Yeah. And that's the reality of things for far too many people. Any piece of mail that comes into your home in a box has your name, has the sender's name, your address, all of that information that is nobody's business. And most of us mm -hmm. take those boxes and we put them into our recycling bin and the recycling bin goes to the curb once a week. It gets picked up and we don't know what happens to it after that. Who right. knows who's actually picking up our recycling? Who knows what their motives might be? They see names, they see addresses, they see a lot of information. And there are unfortunately too many situations where that information has been taken and then has been used against individuals or has been used to get more information about these individuals. It's too easy to do these days. It is just too simple. That's why every person should have at least one of these, if not two, because you want one to take to work. You many times have very confidential information at work that you need to get rid of before it is uh, thrown away or recycled. It's too easy to take this information and use it against us and to steal identities just one simple swipe, Dan, is all there is to it. Oh, yeah, down here in Florida, there was a story in, uh, on news one night about a place that was supposed to be doing recycling. And, boy, they the recycling all right. And they told a story about this. They, they took it to this place, and then they went through all the mail before they recycled it to see what was in there. Oh, before it was recycled. Can you imagine that? Yeah. And then it, whatever they found they thought might be valuable, they stepped on one side, and the stuff that was really recyclable, they put through the recycle. The rest of it, they opened and checked into it first before yeah. they recycled it. So that shows you how much you can count on recycling. Uh, I'll be honest with you, that is terrible. And it was a, they, they arrested these guys. They busted them. They, they tracked them for, for a couple of weeks to make sure that they were right, and they were. And they had a video on them and everything like that. And boy, oh boy, did they get in a lot of trouble. Yeah. Now, let me, let me tell you, again, this is another real-life story. These are things that actually happen to people. I just I got in the mail the other day, you know, a credit card offer from a company. It's like, I don't need any more credit cards. Before I just, I, I tore it up, obviously, I was going to throw it away. But before you throw it away, take all of your information that's on that application for that credit card and cover it because all it takes is one person seeing that mm -hmm. information right. they're now taking that application you don't want and they're submitting it with their address they're getting that credit card your name their address it's your credit history that gets affected by that so even if you're taking mail and throwing it away you need to black out anything on a credit card application, any form, anything that has your name, your address on it, because it's too easy these days to take that information and to use it against you. And we don't want that to happen to you because it's, it, it is having to clear up identity theft is not just a pick up a phone and, and you're, it's, it's cleared up. It's 